Our next caller is Sandy from Texas. Hey, hey Sandy. Doug tells us that uh, Sal's your least favorite host. Tell us why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, man, I can't do that. <laughs> hey, so so what's your question? How can we help you? Uh, so I'm calling in regards to um, I'm working on getting better sleep. Um, I finally clicked a couple months ago, but I should probably be getting more sleep. But I'm having trouble staying asleep. Um, I was wondering if you guys had any tips or any supplements y'all recommend to help me stay asleep. I'm sleeping on average about six hours. Okay, that's a great question. When did uh, let me ask you some more questions because I need a little bit more information. When mm-hmm. did these sleeping issues start for you? Uh, honestly, I haven't slept that well since I was in since I was in high school, um, and then when I joined the military, I just didn't get much sleep. It, it didn't help at all. Yeah. Um, and then once I started listening to you guys, I was like, well, maybe I should start uh, working on my sleep. But yeah, that's where I started kind of uh, uh, noticing that I couldn't stay asleep. Okay. So, so um, in my, ex- I've worked with quite a few clients who have served uh, in the military, by the way, thank you for your service. Um, thank and you. one thing that I notice in common is that they tend to have sleep issues when they're done, uh, you know, when they're done serving. Um, was it difficult to get good sleep when you were serving? Was it because you were, uh, because of the schedule yeah. or because of the stress of being, you know, uh, you know, somewhere else or whatever? Did you notice any of that? Um, t- to be honest, I think it was just poor decisions on my end. Uh, I didn't really put any uh, importance to it. Uh, and I guess I just kind of got used to it. Uh, but I didn't really, uh, uh, maybe the, yeah, a little bit of the scheduling was, was a factor there. Uh, but I think majority of it was, uh, just bad decision, bad planning. Mm. Sandy, have you tried masturbating before bed? <laughs> Works for Adam. Uh, no. <laughs> don't answer <laughs> that. Tried sex. You should answer that. That's an absolute, there's, I, ju- I was just watching a video the other day and, and of mas- guys masturbating before was, bed. No, I, watching a video that, I was in that, uh, that the, there's actually a hormone that's released that pairs with testosterone that works like a sedative. So it's, uh, it's actually proven to help you sleep. Yeah. Unless you're looking at the computer screen. Science. The well, screen. yeah, yeah. Hopefully you're using your imagination and you're not using the computer screen because that's <laughs> yeah. not going to work very well. Ah, that's boring. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays that's boring. Um, Sandy, do you drink coffee or caffeine? Do you take caffeine during the day? Uh, in the mornings. Okay. So first thing I would do is I would eliminate caffeine. I know this sounds for a lot of people, it's like a pain in the ass, but it actually in studies makes the biggest difference for Mm. people, even if the caffeine that they have is first thing in the morning. So that's the first thing I would do is I would slowly reduce or completely eliminate caffeine. The second thing I would do is I would do a sleep routine. So I don't know if you've heard us talk about this before on the podcast, but an hour before bed, turn off all electronics or wear blue light blocking glasses. I would um, take it to another level. I'd say as soon as the sun goes down, you either either one, put on blue blocker glasses or shut lights down, go by candlelight and really limit yeah, your amount of those TV. salt lamps and, mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah, limit the amount of television, phone or computer time at night. Yeah, that makes that make those two things right there make the biggest difference. And then in terms of supplements, I've personally tried a lot of sleep supplements, and uh, there is nothing that even comes close to the Ned Sleep uh, mm-hmm. blend. I that stuff is potent. Um, oh. It works every single oh, time. Oh, it'll knock you out. I mean, we've done melatonin, we've done all kinds of stuff, and that was like the first time where I, I just went out like literally like a brick. That yes. being said, amazing. though, check the big boxes first. Yes, yes right? exactly. So like, don't don't you? I wouldn't uh, recommend to a client to use Ned and they're on their computer till midnight or staring at their phone in their bed. Like I would tell right. them to get rid of that right. stuff first. And and or invest in something like a pair of blue blockers that you can wear when the when the sun goes down. Those things should make a bigger difference. And then, like Sal yeah. said, the caffeine. Ch- check the big boxes yeah. first, and then if you're still having mm-hmm. trouble, then I would then I would. How, how the late are you eating too? Um. So I eliminated eating too close to bed because uh, I've you know I've been listening for a little bit. Uh, I think the latest I'll have anything is maybe around uh, six or seven when mm-hmm. I get off of work, uh, mm-hmm. and then. I was also, I didn't know if maybe working out too close to bedtime uh, might affect it because typically I'll, when I get off of work, I'll have something small, go to the gym, and then uh, I'll 
come back and shower and hit the rack. Yeah, yeah, no, working out uh, about two hours, within two to three hours before bed can definitely affect sleep uh, negatively for uh, some okay. people. Um, and uh, especially if you take a pre-workout, but if you even if you don't, the workout itself can make it difficult um, to go to sleep. So you want to give yourself at least a couple hours before bed. But honestly, if you eliminate the caffeine, do the sleep routine, mm-hmm. um, you should notice a significant improvement. And also remember, this is a practice, so it takes a week or two before you really start to see consistency in terms of uh, how it's working. So don't just do it once and then say, oh, it didn't work. It's not working for me. Like anything else, it's a it's a routine. It's a practice. After doing it for about a week or two, you should notice uh, some improvements. Okay. Awesome. All right. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks for calling in. Hey, thank y'all. I appreciate everything y'all do, man. Thank, thank you, man. Yeah, you know, sleep. Um, you don't like my masturbation uh, tip? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? That doesn't make you guys sleepy right before uh, I mean, or right after. Excuse me. Uh, I mean, no. I haven't had good sleep. You know, it's always an option. Yeah, wow. I guess so. Yeah. Wow, Jesus, you guys. <laughs> you, you know there's, what? There's certain kinds I mean, of that's, interventions. That's El Natural, too, dude. That's as natural as you can get. Yeah, I guess yeah. you're right. You know yeah. what, though? Seriously, though, it's, uh, you know, how many times I've, uh, towards the end of my career, at least this wasn't in, at all for most of my career, but towards the end, just getting people to like kind of take it seriously just made all the difference. In the yeah, world. well, that's why I, I I wanted to reiterate that after you guys went the Ned direction because I mean Ned's amazing as far as how it works, but I'd always rather see a client first check the big boxes first. Totally. I mean, if you're because al- almost everybody, especially today, right today with our cell phones, yeah, you gotta get I, to the root of it. It's rare that I meet somebody now and I and if I ask like, do you look at your phone in bed like when you're in bed? And everybody they say, does. Yeah, everybody does. Yeah. Very few people I know have a good practice where they put their phone away or, or don't take it in yeah, the or they watch TV before they go to bed. Right, yeah. right. And the caffeine thing is huge for a lot of people, even if they do it first thing in the morning. Because I know they say don't have caffeine past, I think, 2 or 3 p.m. But uh, I've worked with people where it doesn't oh, matter any time they have it. I notice it with me. If I, as soon as I get over – so, like, you know, a pre-workout is like 300, 350 yeah. for, like, milligrams. If I'm at three, 400 milligrams, it don't matter if I have it at 6 o'clock in the morning or, or not. It affects now, your sleep. Yeah, it affects my sleep. Now – it really affects my sleep if I do it beyond three, four o'clock mm. in the afternoon. But it don't matter. Even if I'm taking it in, I just it's I'm not as uh, not as relaxed when I go to bed at mm. night. 